Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, also HarbachElectronics.com. So we have my favorite amplifier, favorite mass-produced amateur ham radio grade store-bought amp here in for repair slash modification. So it already has the 10 meter mod done, looks like they did a decent job. Looks like the plate current meter was changed at some point because the backing plate, it's an original one, but the backing plate on this one is cleaner than that one. Meter lamps are good. So, needs new filter capacitors. Some of them, the I'll show them after, after I pull them all out. They're popped, like the little hole, the uh, pressure relief hole, whatever, you want, not hole, the, the little circle thing on each one. Someone can put a common in with the proper term for it that'd be great so uh, choke heated up must have had a grid the filament short on one of the tubes at some point so that's fine I checked it it's good change the cap over here oh yeah the filament transformer winding is fine always check that not check the zener yet I'm gonna check that um, change this cap over here it's for the the, the circuit that rectifies the winding coming off the filament transformer that powers the two relays and also puts the tube and in, tubes into cutoff. Do the bias modification. Add the strap to lowering the the uh, inductance path between the plate tune air variable capacitor and the tube grids. Very very important to do that. I will ground the grids with strap. Uh, the output SO239 doesn't have great grip, so I will change both. Turn it this way. And I already put that cover back on, so uh, everything in there looks great. Um, so tie these wires. So yeah, someone definitely came in here. Okay, so I'm gonna get to work, and it'll be a bit long process, but. I will see you guys later on. Stay tuned. Please like, share, and subscribe. And yep, I got the Henry AK Ultra in back of me. So when I have time, I will start checking that out. I don't know what the fate of that will be, but please, no one, you know, I've already started getting calls asking about it. Please, no, no more calls. I got to see what I can do with it first. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, so I'm back with the completed amplifier. I'm just going to show it this way just to save some time. It's been a long day. So, out of the strap right, right here. New Harbach filter cap board assembly. Let's see. Find one of those caps. Okay, so I think they're on the other side. So, zip tied all the wiring. Put the series glitch resistor in, zip tied wiring over here. Clean the band switch with deoxy gold. Did the bias modification. Clean the input rotary switch with deoxy gold. Added the strap over here. Changed the electrolytic over here. Grounded the grids. Someone had definitely been in this before because they could tell that these. Solder joints have been touched over here, so someone most likely changed that meter. It does not look original. And, uh, let's see. It popped out. So. Still turned on, but told the customer, you know, it's best to just get it taken care of now. Uh, I've only had to change the caps on a few of these, but they're getting up there in age. And, uh, I don't push anything on people, so I, you know, he has a ARB box, so you know, I tell people if they already have one, like, technically it's, it's actually cheaper than buying the Harbach kit for me and then me assembling it and installing it, so you know, they can use it with another amp too. So I also changed the SO239s with brand new ones from Maxgain Systems, so those are all set. The Zener is good, and uh things ready to rock and roll. I also clean the, the relay back there with the oxy cold. I don't know if I already said that or not, but it's late. So 
thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Oh yeah, also the meter protection dial. So whoever changed the meter didn't bother putting any reverse connected diodes across the meter or between the B negative and chassis, one of the others. Plenty. And uh, always, you know, I always clean the multimeter switch down here and the standby brake. Okay, so we tested full output on all bands. So thanks for watching. Catch y'all later. Please like, share, and subscribe. Again, my websites are amprepairguy.com and harbachelectronics.com. So that's about it. 73.